Hi guys, my name is Michelle and I create hair, makeup and lifestyle content here on YouTube. Today I'm going to be talking about my nighttime curly hair routine which means to say that I'm going to share with you how I sleep with my curly hair. So without wasting any time, let's get to it. The first thing that I will tell you about sleeping with curly hair is wear a bonnet, a silk bonnet or a satin bonnet. You will find so many of these on Amazon. And now, being the thrifty girl that I am and I of course did not want to spend too much money on this, right? So I had a lot of these uh, satin silk scarves at home. So what I did was I just cut up a scarf, right? And then I just, in a circle, of course, I cut it up in a circle. I just stitched around the edges. I made sure that the inside, the shiny part went inside. And yeah, I made myself a little bonnet. And how I used to sleep with this was for the very first month when I started a modified version. Keyword being modified. A modified version of the girly girl method. I used to just take my hair, go upside down, put my hair into it and sleep with this bonnet. Now the bonnet caused a lot of migraines which is why I quickly gave up on the idea of the bonnet. But trust me if I was still wearing this bonnet I would avoid so much of the frizz and my transition would have been so much faster if I was just using this bonnet but I can't because I have migraines. If you don't suffer from migraine problems then please wear the bonnet. It is so important because if you're not wearing the bonnet you are impeding your progress okay. That is what I'm doing okay PCOS. PCOS migraines. I can't wear a bonnet. Wear a bonnet guys if you can wear a bonnet. Now let me just show you how I get my hair into this. And here you go. Uh, this uh, is how I used to wear the bonnet. Now if you're sleeping with a bonnet, right? As soon as you take your hair out of that bonnet, you're going to feel like your hair got really flat. One way to fix this is, just take your hair, Flip it around, take your hands, put it in your roots and just fluff. That's right ladies, you are just going to fluff out your roots in the morning and you will see that your hair will perk up. When you fluff out your roots, you are basically taking your fingers and you are just causing some frizz in your roots which helps the hair get some of its volume back. Now another thing that you can also do is in the morning and this is something that I saw in Mains by Mel's channel. What she does is she just uses a little steamer and she takes the steam and puts it on her hair and her hair gently perks up and it, it feels nice and refreshed. I personally haven't tried it. Now since the bonnet was not an option for me, what I did was I had a lot of fabric lying at home and that was just satin fabric. So what I did was I just stitched myself some of these satin bands and as you can see on both sides they're just satin. So now what I do is I sleep in a pineapple. Now let me show you how to create a pineapple. I'll tilt my head and just take the satin hair dye or the hair band whatever you want to call it and I'm just going to tie a knot. Now what I'll do is with the second band I'm just going to take my hair, fold it once. So I just took my hair, I folded it once and then I just tied a knot. Now this is my pineapple. This is how I generally sleep. But if you have a pineapple, please understand that none of the bands should be tied very tight because what you'll do is you'll stretch out the curls near your roots. I'm sure you can understand that that is absolutely a possibility. 
Now this is obviously not enough because we have cotton pillowcases and cotton generally causes a lot of frizz and damage. So it is a very, very good idea to get yourself a satin pillowcase or a silk pillowcase if you are not sleeping in the bonnet. In fact, what I'd say is, even if you're sleeping in the bonnet, there's a possibility that the bonnet is going to fall off your head at night, right? So just as a safeguard, uh, get yourself a satin or a silk pillowcase. So what I did was, I just stitched myself a hair tie and a pillowcase with the material that I had at home. Again in the morning, what I'll do is, I will just fluff out my roots. That is going to add a lot of life to my hair. Now, frizz. Let us address frizz. If you are transitioning, which I am, right? I told you guys, I'm not a professional. I'm not an expert. I am just a beginner transitioning on my curly hair journey. And I want you to document my journey on YouTube. A lot of the times we see these girls with perfect hair, right? And sometimes it can be very intimidating because sometimes you just think that, you know, why can't my hair look like that? Why hasn't my hair changed in, right after I washed it the first time? And I'm just here to reassure you guys that, look, that's not how it happens. I will not refresh my hair when I get on camera because I want you to see the real, real. Uh, sometimes you might be seeing girls on camera with curly hair, but you have to understand, we've probably just washed our hair or just refreshed our hair and we're coming on camera. So most probably you are seeing day one hair, but it is so important for you to see day three, day four, day five, day six, day seven, you know, as, as many days as, you know, I go without washing my hair. It is so important that you guys see that so that you understand that your hair is not going to look perfect every single day of the week. It will look perfect on day one and day two. But right after day three, uh, then, you know, it's downhill uh, road. But don't worry, okay? It is completely normal. And in fact, you will see, I will not refresh my hair when I come on camera to do other videos, like for example, makeup videos or lifestyle videos. I just won't do it because I want you guys to get an accurate picture of what my hair looks like during other days of the week. Now, since we're on the topic of frizz, let me just tell you, frizz happens for various reasons. Is there too much moisture in your hair? Is there too much protein in your hair? Are you maintaining a protein moisture balance? Are you living in a place with a lot of humidity? Are you living in a place with hard water? Are you transitioning? Oh my goodness, I said that three times already, but I cannot stress it enough right if you're transitioning your hair is going to be frizzy did you have a lot of split ends uh, are you only co-washing do you have a lot of build up there are so many reasons why you could be experiencing frizz and i want to keep this channel so simple and so easy because i know most of you are just starting on your curly hair journey i do not want to intimidate you guys with too much information okay let us learn and let us grow together we'll talk about so many things we'll talk about why i don't follow the curly girl method to the t why i don't co-wash and why i use shampoo there are so many things that i'm going to share with you guys but it's going to take time i don't want to give you guys so much information because you know quite literally when I started my journey and I went on YouTube I was so intimidated there was so much information out there and it's intimidating you know what is your hair type are you 2A 2B C 3 3B 4B E Z I mean it's so much I want to take this journey very slowly with you guys okay which is why I'm giving you little bits of information so that you can follow along with me, you can grow with me, and we can do this together. Most importantly, guys, let us do this together. Okay, all right. Now, uh, thank you so much for your question. I'm so happy that, I'm so happy that some of you asked me questions. And I saw that most people who were asking me questions were asking me about the gel. Now, if you don't use gel, if you don't use enough gel, you're going to have frizz. And if you don't use gel at all, please understand when the hair is drying, right? The gel is what is keeping 
the curl in place, right? So it is sealing the entire thing. So once it's dry, when you scrunch out the crunch, you are not going to feel the gel on your hair. My hair is not like Papa, guys. It is soft. Trust me, it is soft. Don't be intimidated by the gel. If you're feeling very intimidated, why don't you just try an aloe vera gel? And maybe that would make you feel a little more comfortable. Don't buy a gel, right? I'm sure you have some gel lying at home. Or maybe you can DIY like a flaxseed gel. I'll, I'll be making videos or YouTube guys, there, there should be so many videos out there. There are so many people making DIY gels and they're fabulous videos. Maybe check them out, get an idea and then once you're comfortable with gel, then only go for a gel that has a strong hold. But I still promise you guys, once you scrunch out the crunch, you will not be able to find any trace of gel on your head. I promise you. Okay, so since I spoke to you about how I sleep with my curly hair and I'm sure this video is not going to be too long, I'm going to try my best not to make it too long. Let me give you some more additional tips. Now let's say I'm at home, right? And I just want to relax, I just want to chill. Then let's say I don't want my hair in my face and I don't have some of these uh, satin hair ties. Then what can I do? Now this is just a scrunchie that I made, it is so simple to stitch one of these. It's just the same material, I mean I cut up a scarf right, so I had additional material. So all I did was, I took an existing rubber band that I had, I cut it, I took the material, I circled it around and then I just stitched it. I'm sure you will find a lot of DIYs for scrunchies as well. And I'll just show you how I use the scrunchie on my hair. Okay, so here's my hair. All I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take the scrunchie, I'm gonna take my hair, I'm just going to take the scrunchie from behind, right? And I'm just going to loop my hair through the scrunchie. And there you go. This is just how I can wear my hair when I'm at home and I don't want any of my hair in my face. Now, if this doesn't suit you and this doesn't work for you, then let me show you a few other ways that you can wear the scrunchie without stretching your hair out. Because this is something that may make you lose definition on your top sections, which means near your crown. So I'll just take the hair, take the scrunchie, and just loop it once. As you can see, all of it is very loose. None of the curls are getting stretched out. All of it is very loose, right? So you're not stretching your curls out in any way. And this is a totally valid way to wear your hair during the day. Let's say you don't have a scrunchie at home and you can't make yourself a scrunchie. Let's just look at this. Again, I can just take my hair tie it up in the ribbon or band or whatever you want to call it and here you go I'm done none of it is pulling and tugging it's fine I can just wear this but a lot of people don't like it when your hair comes undone a lot and you want something a little more a little more tight which is when uh, the scrunchie is perfectly fine now another thing that I did was I took the same material and I just took one of my existing rubber bands and I just looped it with the material and just stitched it over. So this is just a rubber band that I created for myself. However, this doesn't have any stretch, right? Because the material, once you stitch it up, if you don't give it some space inside, like this, if you don't give it some space inside and it's taut and tight, then it is not going to stretch. So that is something for you to keep in mind. However, what I can do is, and I can just loop it through this, and there you go, all of it is really loose. There is no pulling and tugging on your roots. This is also a perfectly good way to just wear your hair at home. Now look, none of these are hairstyles for when you want to go out, right? I'll make a video on that. 
coming very soon. Okay. But right now, since we're in lockdown and we're spending so much time at home, I thought I'd just show you guys a lot of options of how you can wear your hair at home. Now the very last one. My friend gave me this little elastic hair tie thingy. It is it is satin. I don't know if the camera is picking it up. But yeah, this is like a satin elastic sort of hair tie. I think my friend got this from Pantyloons or Shopper Store or Forever New, you know, like some of those for sure a shop that is available in the mall. And there you go. You just have like this loose ponytail that you can wear on top. Now this is something that is not going to come undone, right? You can wear your hair like this quite a bit without it coming undone. Now very quickly, I just want to address another thing. I got a question in the comments the last time and uh, maybe all of you are not going through the comments so I felt like I should answer this question for everyone's benefit. If you are very particular about your ingredients and want to know what is in your shampoo or your conditioner, what you can do is go to curlbots.com or you can go to isitcg.com copy paste your ingredients and then it'll tell you if the product in question is CG approved or not and if it isn't then why okay another thing that I want to talk about Deepshika you spoke to me and you said that you followed the entire routine and then you combed your hair and your curls were gone now you must understand that I do not dry comb my hair in fact if you're a curly girl do not dry comb your hair the only time that you should be combing your hair is when you're in the shower, when it is wet, which means you should be wet combing it. Do not ever run a comb through your beautiful curls. All right, so I think that pretty much sums it up. That was it. That was the video. Why do I have so much makeup on my eyes? Because I knew I would have to wear a bonnet in front of you guys and it's not a cute look, right? Anyway. So that was it. That was the video. Hopefully you gained some value from it and I was able to clear up some of your queries. If you gained some value, then please hit that thumbs up. What are you waiting for? Do it. Do it now. I'll wait. Did you do it? Promise? Okay, I'll be checking. Anyway, thanks so much for watching guys. This was it. Uh, this was the video. My name is Michelle and I will see you in the next one.